you guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to do a toddler nighttime routine with miss yomi not all nights are the same but this is a pretty typical night she's just cleaning up her toys and there's the wink <laughs> i didn't even know she could wink and i didn't even notice until i edited this but she's too cute so i am having her clean up and i'm making dinner i'm making my version of minestrone soup I got this um, recipe from TikTok and it's pretty much just an Italian vegetable soup. It's just my remix of it. But you guys already saw me mince about five or six cloves of garlic and then I diced a medium sized yellow onion. I washed two zucchinis and I'm cutting them into half moons. I did use both zucchinis because I left out a lot of the ingredients from the original recipe so to make up for it I just added an extra zucchini. Then to a large pot, I added some extra virgin olive oil. Um, you can add about two or three tablespoons in there before you add your vegetables. And then you're going to throw in your garlic and onions and then all of the veggies that you chop up. So here I'm chopping up some tomatoes. Um, it calls for Roma tomato in the recipe I originally used, but I just used whatever tomato I had in the house. So I'm just going to pretty much dice them up nothing special they don't have to be perfect it's embarrassing but my knife was super dull so I was struggling a little bit but toss that into the pot and you don't have to have you know the onions and garlic sauteing beforehand you can just do it once all the veggies are in but yeah you guys saw me put about half a stalk of celery in there also and then I'm turning on the stove to about a medium high heat um, and then stirring it up and letting the veggies kind of shrink a little bit. Go ahead and add your choice of either chicken broth or vegetable broth. I used about one and a half cartons of chicken broth. After that, you can add your choice of either plain spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce, whatever you want to call it. I added about half of a small jar in there um i just add enough to where my soup kind of changed colors and it's kind of like this orangey red color then i seasoned it with a good amount of oregano a little bit of garlic powder which is optional because you already have garlic in there but it's just kind of a habit for me to always add garlic powder and onion powder and there is the onion powder then i added some black pepper And then a little bit of dried parsley just for a little bit of extra color and then the secret ingredient chicken bouillon I got that from the Asian store I'm not sure what brands are good anywhere else really that's just kind of my go-to for most of my soups but I add a good amount of that just kind of like to my you know whatever taste I like then you add your favorite dried noodles you can use whatever shape size whatever I just like using the small ones because it's easy for Yomi to eat and then I let them kind of cook while that's going on, I go and start Yomi's bath. I got the Paw Patrol bubble bath. That's her favorite. <laughs> and I'm just putting some in there. And there she is in the bathtub with her rubber duckies. Um, she just had a sleepover with her best friend Ace and Amani. And they had a bubble gun. And I thought that was such a cute idea. So I went and got one from the toy store. And then you see me adding or turning on coco melon because she can't have a bath without jamming out to coco melon and then those are my little cousins back from home we just said hi and happy birthday to my little cousin jj and that is a new little gadget we got from amazon yomi freaks out when she gets her hair washed so i've been doing a little bit of research to figure out what makes washing her hair easier and i found this um pretty much like a hair washing shampoo shield made out of silicone and I just got it literally that day and I'm washing her hair um, with Carol's daughter shampoo and conditioner and I will say that it worked really well she is kind of freaking out as you can see there she just started crying um, she was just kind of anticipating getting soap and water in her eyes um, but it did a really good job of keeping the soap and water out of her face I will say I will probably tighten it next time because once I did run the water it kind of did slide down a little bit but way better than a usual hair wash day but there's my baby just dried her up and put her PJs in her diaper on lotioning her up with the cocoa butter putting some on her 
face and then I am detangling her hair some more. I usually would do it all in the shower, but since she was kind of freaking out, I just finished it up out of the bath. Then I'm putting this curl smoothie on her hair um, just to kind of keep it hydrated. She's shaking it for you guys to let you know she's got the curls. <laughs> But yeah, after we do that, I go and get ready to give her her dinner. I'm giving her half water, half juice. You know, she's one of those kids. She does not like drinking water. So I try to get it in where I can. So I mixed her water with some pineapple juice. And then I am going to fix her a bowl of soup. I will actually leave the TikTok that I found the recipe from down in the description if you guys are interested. You guys can you know do your own thing with it add whatever vegetables you want do whatever you want this is just kind of what we had and what i wanted to make tonight yomi can kind of eat a lot so don't be alarmed by how many scoops you just saw me give her she's a skinny girl but she can eat so yeah there's my baby's dinner just started teaching her how to pray so she's praying before she eats and then she's gonna go ahead and just enjoy her dinner while she's watching Ratatouille. So yeah, that's pretty much it. She's gonna get in bed, a few hugs and kisses. She likes to drag this part out a little bit because she doesn't want to go to sleep. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you want more videos like this, just let me know or just leave a comment of what you guys want to see from me in future videos. Thanks for watching.